So we start work on the pegmatite outcrop this summer, hopefully have some good news flow around that. Talking lithium here today with Iron Energy and Ali, great to be here, good to Piac, eh? good to see you. What's ahead for us in 2024 for Iron Energy well, shareholders? Well, I think lithium is starting to make a bit of a recovery. We've seen that in the spot pricing in China. We've had you know six odd days of uh, green. Mm -hmm. uh, despite the lessened demand in China, we're starting to see a bit of a recovery there. So I think for ION, that would make things rather interesting given our proximity to that Chinese market. Uh, we have been down the path of speaking with strategics in order to come in at the asset level without diluting our existing shareholders. Yeah. We ran into the uh, Chinese New Year, uh, the Year of the Dragon, of course a very exciting prospect as yeah. far as Asia is concerned. It's good for business, the Year of the Dragon. Precisely. So we're, we're looking to have uh, Asian strategics come into ION at the asset level here in due course. Uh, we'll also start to do some exploration at the Northwest Territories. That's yeah. exciting. As you know, our Bliss Lake projects were acquired last year. Yeah, that's um, in Canada. So Ion Energy, not only in Mongolia now, but also in Canada. Right. Uh, lithium Rock in Canada that's right. versus Lithium Brine in Mongolia. That's correct. So we've currently got all three mediums taken care of with Urgat Naran, that's Brine, with Bavayol, that is Clays at this level. Yeah. Uh, with the Northwest Territories, what we have currently is a pegmatite outcrop. So we start work on the pegmatite outcrop this summer, hopefully have some good news flow around that. Um, and then focus really on getting the uh, strategic level investment at the asset level. That said, and you know, I say this with a bit of reservation because yeah. of course people will be watching this, but uh, I think the market is ripe for an acquisition opportunity. Considering the depressed valuations around the world in the lithium stocks, should ION see an opportunity that is worth uh, expanding into, we will look to do that in a strategic manner that uh, provides our shareholders with the most value. So I take it your cash position versus cash burn rate right now is, uh, is quite good? Could you we're just not, give us some insight? Of course. We're, we're not burning cash. I mean, we're mm -hmm. at PDAC because we're a Toronto-based company and it's important to remain relevant. Yeah. This is why we're here. Uh, in terms of our cash position, it's not very strong, but we have the right backers and potential liquidity events that will allow us to execute upon uh, transactional opportunities. Okay. Regarding rock versus brine, yeah. there's a lot of discussion going on. Direct lithium extraction, not yet a proven concept. Um, are we going to see a, a change that, that the first large-scale production on DLE is going to happen this year? Well, that's the hope. I think uh, primarily with Centenario in Argentina, which is an Aramet project, yep. um, there is the potential for that to come online this year. They're, of course, looking at expanding their uh, production profile from 20,000 ton to 50,000 ton. Mm -hmm. It's one of the first of its kind. You know, A couple of years ago, they had 1,000 people there uh, building up the site. Uh, as far as DLE is concerned, you know, we talk about our North American peers and companies that we might be familiar with. Mm. But if you look at uh, Asia, Sun Resin, for instance, has been using DLE in commercial production capacity for quite some time. So the West has yet to catch up on the DLE aspect of things. But of mm. course, the East is one step ahead. And we are in the East. And that, of course, is exciting from a DLE perspective. I also find it very hard in terms of research to understand what's going on in Asia. Um, so also to our audience out there on the channel, if you do have insights what's happening in South Korea, in China, in Japan, um, do get in touch with us. We'd love to hear what's happening on the direct lithium extraction space. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And, you know, I was in Beijing in September last year. Yeah. I've met with various strategics that are leveraging that technology. So I think you'll start to see that filter through. Uh, in fact, the Centenario project in Argentina that I speak of is a JV between Aramit and a Chinese organization as well. Okay. Well, Ali, exciting times. We hope to visit Mongolia as part of Iron Energy and of Step of Gold. Yes. It will be great to be there. And um, good luck at PDAC in 2024. Thanks very much. Thank you.